This is a public health situation that is beyond belief that we are not addressing this in a, in a radical way. Because you're talking about the health of our babies. When I told my, my MD that I wanted to try to have a baby, he suggested that I find out what my level of mercury was because he knew that I ate a lot of fish. And so he tested my level for mercury and it was really high. Uh, well, I noticed at home Matthew was really struggling with homework. He was always a great student and he was getting really frustrated. Uh, one of the things that I've been seeing is uh, various and sundry symptoms of fatigue, troubles thinking, hair loss, joint and muscle aches. Then we got the test faxed to the pediatrician and she saw he was 12 and a half times the FDA safety level, which we didn't know anything about an FDA safety level. That feels criminal to me that you haven't been informed about that. In the middle 1990s, I uh, became aware that I was feeling fatigued. Uh, I lost my sense of concentration and uh, I, was, I was kind of shaky. And I went and I got a hair analysis. Uh, and the, the analysis revealed that I had a huge burden of mercury. It was actually off the chart. Basically, people who have too much mercury in their system have gotten it by eating fish certain kinds of fish. Um, twice a week I would take a swordfish or a tuna steak yes. and just sear it in, a, in a, a cast iron skillet. I would say that you had chronic mercury poisoning. And one of the campaigns we've just taken on is mercury. Uh, I think it's one of the most important issues that Oceana has tackled. Mercury is a poison. It has been found to cause memory problems, hair loss, fatigue, joint pain, tremors, impaired coordination, and other neurological damage. Mercury exposure in the womb can cause irreversible damage to a developing baby. Seafood is the primary source of methylmercury ingested by humans. Fish are contaminated because rivers, lakes, and oceans are contaminated. Polluting industries release staggering quantities of mercury into the air and water each year. In the early 2000s, Dr. Jane Hightower began to receive a striking number of patients who exhibited similar symptoms. Each ate lots of fish. I started calling them up, uh, asking what's for dinner, and every single one of them kept coming up with the same poison. And uh, when they stopped eating mercury, uh, generally within uh, two to six months in general, they all either fully recovered or were 90% recovered. Matthew's always been a healthy eater. I think that's why he chose tuna fish to eat. The larger the fish and the older the fish generally will accumulate more of the mercury. I just switched, like, instead of my tuna sandwich every day, I would take a turkey sandwich. I'd say, you know, since he's mercury-free, we see a big change. His attitude towards school is really wonderful. He's, he's turning in two-page papers on his own and then gets an A on them. It's not standard practice for doctors to do that. Um, and he, he basically wanted to do it because he, I told him that I eat a lot of fish. And he knew that I wanted to have a baby, so he just suggested that before I get pregnant, we test my level okay. in mercury. Um, I went back to my doctor and found out that that my level of mercury was really high and I was really upset because I wanted, I didn't think that it was going to be, it just didn't occur to me that that, that, that was going to be an issue for me. I was eating a lot of sushi, um, I've eaten sushi for years, I love it, and um, so I was eating a lot of um, tuna and yellowtail and for dinner everything, you know, mahi-mahi, shrimp. Um, I got pregnant that day, <laughs> literally the day I found out that my levels were down, um, I got pregnant. I mean, you know, it's hard to know how your baby would have turned out, but she's so healthy and she's so alert and bright. And one of the issues with um, mercury toxicity and one of the reasons that it's dangerous for pregnant women to have a lot of mercury in the system is because it affects the, the neurology and the development of the fetus. Eating fish is an important part of a balanced diet. It's full of vitamins and other nutrients, good for our hearts because the omega-3 fatty acids lower cholesterol and blood pressure. Oceana encourages people to eat fish, but only the right fish. 
and we believe that a simple way for the consumer to get the information they need to choose the appropriate fish is for grocery stores to post signs alerting consumers to fish which have been determined to be dangerous. The FDA has issued warnings on tilefish, king mackerel, swordfish, and shark. It also warns women who are pregnant or may become pregnant to limit their consumption of tuna fish. California already mandates that such warnings be posted. And grocery chains, such as Wild Oats, have decided to post these warnings in their stores around the country. The response from their customers has been enthusiastic. And the amazing thing is um, a lot of people said you're committing economic suicide because you're going to ruin your seafood sales. We actually saw our seafood sales go up after posting the signs. Oceana is actively working to make essential information about the healthfulness of fish nationally available. To this end, we hold press conferences, conduct letter writing campaigns, and our wave makers go directly to the store where they shop to demand information about the dangers from fish be posted. You know, as a consumer, you know, I, I wasn't given the opportunity to make a decision based on, you know, what's in the product. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. happy now. Yeah. Um, I would really hope that all, any supermarket that sells fish would have some kind of, would have some kind of and you agree with me, don't you? Would have some kind of advisory um, warning people about the levels of mercury in the fish. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. What Oceana wants to do is to make sure that where you and I buy our fish, the markets, have labeling that warns people that this certain fish may have too much mercury in it to safely eat, or you should only eat six ounces of it, but that people are informed so they can make intelligent decisions about what they eat.